Good. Good. One of the areas that's very topical right now is security. If you see what's going on at the airports, uh, just a simple body scan, which sh should take under a minute, has, has people waiting hours in line at the airports. Is there something in, on, on the horizon or maybe a little further out than that that will make that process simpler? We physicists realize that security is going to be big business into the future. Every aspect of our life in some sense will be touched by it. We physicists also invented the, the backscatter x-ray machine. Just like in Superman comics, you can see right through people's clothes, just like what little kids dream about. We can do that now with the clarity of Superman comics. The problem is the dummy at the other end, the human who has to look at the picture. That's where people will go right through with explosives and not get caught. Meaning pattern recognition software is going to be big business. Pattern recognition software to recognize what are called the vectors of the human face and also the characteristics of hidden explosives. And if you take a look at an airport today, I mean, give me a break. The people doing this are not trained to spot these kinds of things. They're hired on the spot and <laughs> one second they're unemployed, the next second there they are analyzing all these pictures. We're going to have to train people but also devise software that can really accentuate uh, our ability to spot hidden objects inside the backscattered x-ray scans and the millimeter scans. Also, as far as security is concerned, it's going to only get bigger. There are a lot of criminals out there, and it's a cat and mouse game between the people who create software and the people who want to crack software. So right now, many software programmers haven't really invested that much interest in this area. Privacy concerns, right? Where is a software that can spot identity theft and all sorts of different kinds of security breaches? There's going to be a lot of jobs available for people who can spot criminal activity. If you don't believe me, check your email this morning and you realize that half your email comes from criminals. We've talked a lot about quantum physics, but what is the relationship between a traditional electrical engineer who knows circuits and what, what you're referring to as quantum physics? When we think of circuits, we think of something that's deterministic. We know that one plus one is two. Anyone who tells you differently, well, the men of white coats come and take you away. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that in the future, computers will say one plus one is two, I think, because we have something called Heisenberg uncertainty. On one hand, it means that 2 plus 2 is no longer 4, except it's on the average 4. That's a negative. But the positive is you'll be able to break any computer code, any computer encrypted code on the earth within a matter perhaps of seconds, and perhaps even surpass the computational ability of the human brain. Because these circuits are no longer deterministic. They're no longer like a clockwork. They have probability involved. And programming one is quite difficult is completely different from programming in a deterministic system. So in the future, there are many avenues being explored. One of them, for example, is parallel processing. Mm -hmm. Microsoft is looking at that. But that means you have to take a particular piece of software and break it up into pieces and then reassemble it at the other end. We do that effortlessly, right? Because we can pat our stomach and you know, pat our head at the same time, right? We can do that effortlessly, right? Computers can't. We integrate these parallel processing activities all the time. So this means that programmers are going to ha can have a lot of work. Progress in the future may not be in the direction of simply adding more chips, on, uh, more transistors onto a chip. Progress in the future may be parallel processing in the short term. And that means a lot more work for software programmers. You've hit on a subject that is very near and dear to what we're doing right now in multi-core processing, where you have multiple processors on one piece of silicon. And the hardware vendors have, have shown that they can do that. But the operating system vendors, have, while they say they can do it, it is, it is far from, from perfected. Right. And people have to realize that this is inevitable. Now, of course, people have been crying wolf for 30 years, saying that Moore's <laughs> Law is going to break down. Mm -hmm. But we physicists never said that. We physicists said just two things. One is, eventually, the heat generated from a silicon chip will be so hot, you'll fry an egg on it, and it'll be unstable. And second of all, instead of a layer 20 atoms across in a chip, the layer will be five atoms across. At that point, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle begins to come in, and your components begin to short circuit. That's a law of physics. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so you can say all you want about, well, people have been wrong before. Yeah, but the quantum theory is never wrong.